Hello my dear sewing friends, today I'm on a mission to make quick and easy one hour multi-seasonal shrug slash cardigan because although it is almost summer here in northern hemisphere, the cold days are still not behind us. In fact, this past week here in Smoky Mountains, Tennessee, it has been pretty gloomy and rainy and I'm not complaining because I absolutely love this kind of weather, but we do need some sort of layering piece that is going to be providing some warmth and some comfort. So, let's get started. First, let's start with a quick sketch so that way you can see a little bit better since this is not a regular pattern, so to speak. Now, the body part of this shrug is actually a rectangle that has been folded in a certain way. Then we add on the sleeves and a white collar that is white at the top and then it gets smaller towards the bottom. Now, let's talk about the measurements. First, you will need the length of your shrug. Measure it from the center back neckline and drop your measuring tape as long as you want it to be. Then, the width of the shrug. Now, I base it on where I want it to sit on my shoulders. And although we will have a collar that it will be pretty wide at the top, I want the body of the shrug to sit on my shoulders. So measure the width across your shoulders that is smaller than the actual shoulder width like so. So that's the place where you want it to sit. Now we will also need the length and the width of the sleeve, but we will get to it in just about a moment. So here's your shrug. This is the width of how you want it to sit on your shoulders. This is the center back and determine the length of this part. You need to divide the length of this rectangle, so the center back, in two and add it past your desired shoulder width. Once you have done that, cut the excess off. Now this is how mine looks. Then you will fold the edges like so to the middle and now we can start building the sleeve. Now later in the video I will include all of the measurements of my finished shrug so that way if you need a starting point for this simple project you can have my measurements and work from there. Now I do strongly encourage you to do the test drive of this body part of the shrug so that way you know for sure it fits you how you want it. You can do that with old bed sheets or old piece of cloth or even just with pattern paper that you have folded. Just put it on yourself in front of the mirror and see if it's approximately in the same position where you would like it to be. Next is the sleeve and as you can see I have already marked it over here. Now this is half the width of your sleeve and to measure it you will need to measure the circumference of your upper arm but sort of halfway between the shoulder and the elbow because remember we are working with a drop sleeve here. Now add a little bit of extra to it so that way you can easily wear it on top of shirts and tops underneath without trying to pull it on yourself with troubles. Now, half of that measurement is what you see over here. For me, the width of my sleeve will be seven inches and this is how you will place it here from edge to edge, making sure it's three and a half inches on each side. Now, once that is done, you can actually cut this bit off. After this, place another sheet of paper underneath. The line that we're building right now is the length of the sleeve. To measure it, you will need to start from the middle part in a slightly bent position all the way to your wrist. Now measure the width of your wrist. Add one or two inches so that way it's not too tight either. And half of this measurement will go right over here. Please note over here that this makes a 90 degree angle. Now outline the sleeve on this side and connect it all. And don't forget to mark the fold line and the direction of the stretch. So here's the last thing to draft and we will get to the sewing part. Now the collar. We will draft it in two goes. One part will be for the top and one for the bottom. At the neck I really want it to be wide and then we will decrease the width of it towards the bottom. So to determine the length of your collar it's really easy and simple. It's just these both sides. I will cut these on the fold so take half of this length. Now my length is 18 inches and let's do 7 at the neck and decrease it to 4 inches. Now connect it all, mark the fold positions, however I might change it depending on what is the best way to cut my fabric so I will see that when I'm at that point. Same steps will apply for the bottom part of the collar as well. 
Now we will start at 4 inches and decrease it to 2 inches. And this is how it will all go together and form one color from neck to the bottom. So now that we have all our measurements and the pattern, let's cut the fabric. The fabric can be virtually any weight. It will all depend on the look that you're going for. But I do think that medium weight knit is a great choice for this type of garment. It must be two way or four way stretch though. Here I have medium weight rib knit from Joann's. If you do feel that you would like to go a little deeper into what kind of fabrics are good for what type of project, I do have a full video with sketches and swatches, particularly for that reason. And I will leave the link for it in the info box below for you guys. When you're cutting, also don't forget to add seam allowances since I draft my patterns without them. And since the pieces were quite large, I did cut them out on the floor first. And here they are, the main body, the collar for both sides and the sleeves. Now for the first step, you will take the body of the shrug and you will place these parts right sides together, pin them and sew. And it is easier to do if you fold the rectangle in half like this. I'm going to be using serger to assemble my cardigan. However, if you don't have a serger, not a big deal at all. Just use your sewing machine. But remember to use appropriate needle for the type of fabric that you're using and use a stretch stitch. There is a variety of stretch stitches out there, but most common ones are zigzag stitch, three step zigzag stitch, or lightning stitch. Now, slow and steady, don't stretch your fabric as you sew, and you will end up with a beautiful cardigan in the matter of moments. Here you see me sew these parts on the serger. And while we're at it, we will also sew the bottom part of both sleeves. What you will do, you will place them right sides together like so, pin and sew. Alrighty, so now that this part is done nice and neat, we will attach the sleeve. Now we will do the exactly the same thing as we did when we drafted the sleeve, remember? We will find the width of the sleeve across this triangle. We will mark it and then we will cut it. And when you cut, don't forget to add a little extra for seam allowance as you see me do on the screen. Now, by putting the right sides together, align up the top of the sleeve with this point and the bottom of the sleeve with this point. Pin and sew together. And you will repeat this on both sides now I did try on my shrug when the sleeves were finally attached and you know what, the seam between the sleeve and the back was hitting me right on the elbow causing you know a bit of a discomfort when I would move my hand. So I decided to create a center back seam on the back in order to take in my shrug by two inches on each side and that's what you see on your screens right now. So if you try it on and you would like to make it a little bit smaller, this is the perfect technique to get that done. Next onto the collar. Now because we did make our shrug smaller, in my case, I also need to shorten the collar on each of the sides. So I'll do that first. And after that, we will put these right sides together, top together with the top and bottom together with the bottom. And then we will sew them. Now fold it wrong sides together, so basically in half, and pin at the center front and center back seams. Once we have that done, we will line up the top seam together with the top seam of the shrug and the bottom seam together with the bottom seam of the shrug, which actually makes it a little bit easier to make sure that everything is nice and neat. After that, you will pin everything in the round and that's how we're also going to attach it.
right, the last thing that we need to do is to hem the sleeves. Give everything a good press and it's ready. Now to hem the sleeves, you can, number one, fold the edges and use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. You can add a cuff. You can do a flat lock seam on your serger and I have a tutorial for it and I will leave it for you guys in the info box. You can even do it by hand, which will give you a really nice seamless finish. The choice is yours. In my case, I do have a cover stitch machine, so I will finish the sleeve by using it. Now, as I promised, here are my pattern measurements without seam allowances for my size and the way it fits me as you can see it on the screen. This project is so quick, I absolutely love it. This also could be great for a gift as well, so just make a mental note for that for the holiday season later in the year. I truly hope that you enjoyed this. Click on this video right over here if you want more sewing and drafting videos, and I will see you in the next one. Happy sewing. Bye.